I was working out the other day and I was in pain and it hurt and I thought, why am I doing this? And then I realized that I was working out because the pain that I felt on that day was going to be the strength that I feel in the future. And I want to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. When we go through pain in life, we don't realize that we are getting stronger to face different things that will come our way in the future. I got to thinking about this pandemic and why we are going through it. I think we are all getting stronger if we truly look at it and use our situation in the right way. As a child, I remember my mom took me to the doctor and I trusted my mom. I didn't know why I was going there, but when the doctor pulled out a big long needle because I needed a shot, I really questioned her. But as my relationship with my mom grew, I realized that she had my best interest in heart and that no matter where she took me, I knew it would be for my own good. It's the same way with God. The pain we go through throughout life is our faith journey. I remember when Beth was facing stage four cancer, I would often question God because I had a verse, Romans 8, 28, which I'm about to read to you. It was on a plaque in my locker and it says, "For all, we know that for all things, work together for good to them who love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, Romans 8, 28. I used to say, God, really? All things, stage four cancer? I wrote about it in Hurricane of Love. If you haven't picked it up, it's available through our website. It's also available on Amazon. But I talked about, I really questioned the pain and why did Beth have to suffer? Now that I look back and I see what God has done through that book, through Fearless Faith, we now have almost 30,000 followers on our Facebook page. We have a YouTube channel with uh, a few hundred subscribers where there's over a thousand videos loaded on every subject. I encourage you to go there. I realize God has done a lot out of that pain of losing Beth. There's a man named Dr. Timothy Keller, very brilliant man. He wrote one of my favorite books called The Reason for God. And he said, one of the main ways we move from abstract knowledge about God to a personal encounter with him as a living reality is through the furnace of affliction. We know the reality of God when we go through affliction. I hope we're all drawing closer to him through the pain of what we are experiencing now. I'm gonna close with a verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12, that kind of explains that we don't understand things now, but we will one day. It says, for, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. When we get to heaven, we'll understand. We'll ask God, why did we have to go through all of this pain? He'll explain it. But for now, just know that your pain is strengthening you. God bless. I hope that inspires you. I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.